Hey guys, it's Greg Jones for Engine Builder. We are in Spartanburg, South Carolina today, inside Noonan Race Engineering. I'm joined by Barry Pettit. This right here is a 4.8 water Hemi, and it's our Engine of the Week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pengrade One, L Ring DOS Original, and NPW. Well, Barry, uh, thanks again for giving us some time today to see the new uh, the new building here at Noonan and uh, a couple of the engines that you guys got going on, including this 4.8 Hemi here between us. I'd uh, love to know a little bit more about kind of what's going on in this build. You know. Uh, in terms of the components and some of the machine work that you guys do on it. Absolutely. So this is an engine that we're putting together for a customer, a uh, 4.8 bore space Hemi. Uh, this one is a little bit unique to the rest of the 4.8s out there. This is a H2O block. So yeah. we actually have uh, water passageways through this thing. This is a, uh, a pretty unique platform with the fact of you can street drive this thing and still have 4,000 horsepower. So it's it's a pretty unique piece um, and we're, we're extremely uh, satisfied with it. We have a lot of these things out there now. A very common one is, uh, you know, Dominator from Street Outlaws is what he races with and is competitive. Um, and we have uh, you know, many, many years with this platform under our belt. This, the water block itself uh, is gonna be a standard deck height from the 4.8 Hemi, which is a 10, 725. Um, and the 4.8 Hemi, of course, is a 4.8 bore center. So we're able to get a 4.467, what people like to call the super bore, bore size in it. Um, this combination here is gonna be a 4.150 stroke, um, as it's gonna be a twin turbo application. So it's not a humongous stroke like what you'll see in some 4.8 Hemis. Yeah. Um, it's gonna wanna turn some RPM to get the boost to it. Right. <clears throat> Um, as far as components wise, you know, we machine the block, heads, intake manifold, yeah. um, as much of that as possible. Uh, this is going to have a uh, billet crankshaft in it uh, from Bryant, R&R okay. um, &R connecting rods with diamond pistons. This has a, a Manton bar uh, rocker assembly on it. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's, you know, it really has all the components of what you'll see in a pro mod that a guy can you know, he can really put down the street. We have we have footage of uh, one of them here, <clears throat> guy had in his car and literally drove out the gate, went up to the red light and took a cruise. Yeah. So, and uh, and then he went to the drag strip that night and ran, a, I believe, test and tune, he ran a 4-1 in the eight pump. Wow. After, yeah. you know, the same day, just driving it on the street. Yeah. So that's it's pretty, cool. pretty cool. Yeah. Um, now, we were just looking at a, a 4-9 Hemi uh, a little bit ago. And again, this is the 4-8. You want to talk a little bit about some of the differences in like the block in particular uh, be between the two? Yeah, so the, the block is going to be a um, fair amount different, right? Obviously for the for the water passages and everything yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, coming away from that side of it, you're going to have <clears throat> a normal cam height in this, and you're not able to have the the same camshaft diameter that you would in the 4.9. 4.9 okay. is going to have a 70 mil. Biggest you're going to have in this is a 60 or a 65 mil. Um, still great. It's just part of the things that make a 4.9 uh, a touch a touch better. But the um, the other side of it is the serviceability of a 4.8 is a little bit different. Um, not as bad on a turbo or pro charger application like this because um, you're able to, to pull the manifold and everything off pretty quick. But um, you know, like we talked about on the 4.9, you could, you're able to get into the bottom end much faster. Sure. Um, but as far as the machine work and everything goes, the 4.8 block is going to have a traditional main cap design. There's some differences on a 4.9 where it's actually a splayed main cap. Okay. So if you can imagine, um, say you have a block and it's you're grabbing the the main cap from the sides and from the other side, it's a traditional four bolt main cap. Okay. A 4.9 is going to have angled so a splayed cap mm. to where you're you're essentially pulling all the way around the main journal. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit better supported. So. There's, there's some features here that are, I would say, traditional with a 4.8 Hemi. Um, the 4.9 is gonna have a little bit more of a difference in engineering, gotcha. our own spin on things. Okay. So. Um, 
Now you mentioned because it's got you know the water passages and, and the ability to have water in the engine, you know it, it is streetable to a degree. Um, obviously, the drag and drive type stuff is big these days, but that that's maybe a stretch for an engine like this. You know, you, you wouldn't really want to drive it hundreds of miles. Yeah, I street. mean, you know, we we have some out there doing it. The okay. the problem, what I tell customers when they call, the problem with these engines is I never hear anything back about them, which is really a good thing because normally you hear problems right but i never guys that do drag and drive stuff with it um i never hear back from them and i, I don't know if that's because they're having great, great luck with it but just for our own experience what we've tested in our shop um, the guys actually built uh, a car that's actually kind of famous now it's called the shit box of doom um, Lindbergh and jamie actually had an engine like this with a blower on it left the shop here, drove it to Charlotte, ran a 597, and drove back home. That's an hour's drive each way. Um, and everything was completely fine. So from our own experience, we know it'll do that. Um, I, do, I do have some guys that are doing some drag and drive stuff. Um, I just never, I never get to hear about it because it's, it's you know, they've got their own combination that they really don't want everybody knowing about, yeah. which I understand. Yeah. All right. Um, Barry, anything else in terms of the details of components on this particular build that we didn't quite touch on? Um, maybe a little bit about the oiling system. That yeah, so this uh, this system here is going to have a side oil pump. Uh, he is going to, to be running a, um, you know, just our, our normal Barnes type pump. Um, it is going to run off a cam sink, so he's not going to have a mag drive. That's what you're going to see his RCD yep. piece in here. Um, so he'll actually have a reading off of here and there is also possible to have a reading off the front off the fuel pump drive shaft. Okay. Um, other than that, man, it's it's really a pretty straightforward uh, in the 4.8 world piece. Um, it's, uh, it's it's going to be a rocket. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, and then how much horsepower? You know, again, I think you said this one is going to be a twin turbo setup. You know, how much horsepower uh, is this particular customer? Kind of expect. You know, we we build everything kind of the best we can. I, I don't know exactly what size injectors and everything this customer is going to end okay. up with, yeah, yeah. so we'll we'll still spec it out pretty much to the compression and everything. We we'll do a consultation with the customer on what it needs to be. Um, so we'll set compression ratio and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. The end result of where he actually ends up is kind of up to what they want to do. But um, I would imagine from kind of knowing these guys, they're very well into the 4,000 horsepower range by the time this thing is done. Yeah. So um, it, it should be able to, to do that quite well. Very cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Barry, we appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Always a pleasure uh, talking about some Noonan engines. Guys, we appreciate you all watching this episode of Engine of the Week. Make sure you're checking out Noonan Race Engineering and everything that they've got going on. And please make sure you're checking out Engine Builder Mag across all our social media and our website. And uh, we appreciate you watching. We'll see you guys next time.